So I'd like to start with a fundamental question for Mike. Why should the computing industry care about HTML5? Well, what's happening now is that HTML5 is breaking out of the confines of the web and the browser, and it's being used to build actual applications. So that makes it a topic of interest to a, the entire software development community and to people planning applications and application strategies. Mm, excellent. Why does Intel specifically care about HTML5? It's a chip maker, right? Intel cares about HTML5 because we care about software development productivity. If you can't get new experiences, you're not going to buy a new device, and of course we care about you buying new devices. Right. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. So Brian, um, you're at Adobe. I'm at Adobe. Didn't Adobe used to make something called Flash and Flex and... Uh. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we still do. Uh, Adobe uh, makes all kinds of software. Uh, Flash and Flex are uh, our answer to building more high-performance applications for mobile, uh, more structured applications and apps for people that still write ActionScript. There you um, go. But Adobe today is definitely more focused on HTML and HTML5 especially, um, and uh, PhoneGap for building mobile applications. We're seeing more and more people embrace web and web technologies for uh, different um, deployment targets besides the, just the web browser, which, like Mike mentioned. We're seeing it hit uh, mobile apps, and uh, Adobe wants to be a part of that publishing process for creatives. So, Michael, what does uh, your research show about HTML5 adoption among developers? I think right now about half of all developers in the world are using HTML5 in their development in some capacity. That's about 8.6 million developers. Uh -huh. If you look at those who are just planning to do so, uh, that's about 28%. And if you look at just a subset who are working on mobile, 60% of them are using HTML5 in some part of their development work. I've heard different like numbers thrown around. I have no idea. Like, I don't know how you could actually quantify or count. Like, it seems like there's so many different kinds of content creators now that it's it's tricky. Like crusty old dude who writes you know J2E apps is probably building HTML apps and he's probably considered a developer. But the 16 year old kid that picked up uh, Dreamweaver was he a developer? Yeah. Since HTML5 has become uh, more widespread in use, uh, there 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 are fewer uh, barriers, there are fewer obstacles, uh, and I think that the de the definition of what a developer is has been. Uh, dynamic and it is expanding. Yeah, yeah, I agree completely.